What's up guys, Jared here with Staring Tall Auto Reviews, back here with another video today. This one's not a car review, it's actually a product review. So I ended up picking this up at Walmart yesterday. It is the Yada 720p mirror road cam. Um, I've seen a little bit about it online, I've seen two YouTube videos, and the reviews are kind of mixed, some are good, some are bad, but um, it was 19 bucks at Walmart. It's normally supposed to be more, but it was on sale and they had a bunch. And I've been wanting something like this, especially because around here recently, people have been constantly almost running into me. Um, two times within a week, I've almost been hit by people running stop um, stop signs. So we're gonna install this today. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. I want you all to see what it's all about because I know some of the YouTube videos on here, um, they show it off, but I wanna kinda make a video showing what I didn't see in the other ones. So without any further waiting, let's get into it. So unboxing it, I went ahead and took these off. That way I didn't struggle with them. But taking it out of the box, we have obviously the rear view mirror and you got the cords. And then there's just a little pamphlet in there. So we're gonna move this out of the way and take this off. And so first things first, here is that rear view mirror. Let me go and let you guys see it real quick. So it has a blue film over it, which we will take off. And then all your buttons down here. On the back, there's a film over the camera. Make sure you take that off or I heard it will affect quality. So we'll take that off also. And then you have your cord, which this will go into it right here. And then this goes into your car charger port, obviously. And then you have your little brackets to go on back. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. It's pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff off. So the film I was talking about, you have the little one that shows like the display, which comes right off. And then there's also a little film over the mirror. You can kind of see it right here. And I'll actually start trying to peel it away. There we go. So right here took me a second but it's hard to see and I know some people complain about that but this part will come off it's a protective film and then also don't forget about the film on the back because I know some people said camera quality was affected and real quick let me go ahead before I start installing I want to go over some of the features so it's a 720p camera it's nothing crazy but it'll get the job done 2.4 inch screen which is right in there you have motion detection, G-sensor technology, which is like, it'll start detecting and saving the video when it detects a crash. If I'm wrong on that, let me know. Um, I'll actually verify that in the comments. And then it also has a digital clock. So we're gonna go ahead and start getting this thing installed. All right, guys, now to install this thing. It's very simple. I wanted to show you real quick. Up top, this is where your power goes to. And this is where your TF card or micro SD card goes to. It is included, it's a four gigabyte card. It can support up to 32 gigabytes. So just be aware that you can upgrade this if you need to. And once you have that in, you can go ahead and also put this in. It makes it easier just to do it before. Now with this wire, I've seen where you can do many things with it. For today's video purpose, I'm just gonna keep it hanging down. Um, I'll probably tuck it in the future, but just for now, I want to leave it down so you just get your little USB slot and you plug it in up top just like that and also you do have a mic on the back and then the camera is adjustable just so you guys are aware you can adjust that and to install it's very simple you have these little rubber brackets and you wrap it around and you put it on based off the tightness so if your mirror is loose then you could do it like that if it's a bit of a bigger one, then you can tighten it up. So let me go and show you. So you stick it up there and you make sure you have these around in the place you want them. Make sure the camera's sticking out and you just pull down until you get it to that right spot, which I believe that will be good. Let me try it over here real quick. And as you can see, it's on there firmly. The camera's got some room right there looks good to me now we hide that wire behind and like I said you can do more with that wire whenever you want and you just plug it into your car spot which mine will be right down here 
And just like that, you got power and we have a boot up right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it get closer so we can check it out. All right guys, now we have it set up. So I wanna go ahead and show you, and let me go ahead and get it set so we can see it better. So right here is where our footage is. If we hit okay, you'll see it starts going red and starts recording. We just hit okay again, and it stops recording. And we have a bunch of different settings we can go through. So you have a power on off, you hit it, it turns into a clock. Hit it again, turns into that. Right here, you hit this, and you can go through resolution, loop recording, settings, exposure. There's all kinds of different settings you can change. Right here, through there, and then you just kind of click the button. Click again, you have some more settings. We click again, it gets us out of here. You hit M, that goes to photo, and this takes you to your files that you have saved. And then up and down, you know, it's up and down for the menus, and then OK to record, OK to stop. Um, I'll show you guys some of the quality of the video so you can see again like I said you can change the camera around back here so see I can kind of change the direction of it if I want to and there is a blue tint I will say I've seen some people say stuff about that there is a bit of a blue tint on it so you will have to get used to that along with having that constantly there and then with the wire hanging down you'll have to find somewhere to put that but overall I mean it's a pretty cool little product I want to get you guys some examples of what it is like real quick, um, some of the video footage, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. So let me go and get that going. Alright guys, that's going to do it from us today. Let me know what you thought of that footage. I think it's honestly pretty good to be a 720p camera. Now I know 720p in 2022 is not really what you think about. We all think of 4K, 1080p is like the minimum now. But for 19 bucks, it gets the job done. Uh, like I said, I got this at Walmart. Check to see if your store has it. I'll post a link down below for the Walmart site. I'll also post an Amazon link for a similar one that looks just like it. It costs a bit more, but I think it comes with a bit more. And the Amazon link will be an affiliate one, just putting that out there. But it's another option. And I'll also link the Yada site below. And if you enjoy this type of content, let me know. I can definitely get more products and review them for you. If you have product recommendations of things you've always wanted to see, whether that be like an Amazon product for a car or something from Walmart that I haven't seen yet, let me know and I'll try to give it a review. Also, we do car reviews here, so if you enjoy that kind of stuff, check out my videos and subscribe. And also, we're on social media, staying to our reviews, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. So check us out on there. And I appreciate you guys watching this video and taking the time today. And until the next video, I'll see you guys. Peace out.